What's up, fellas? It took me seven years to go from looking like this to looking like this. And if I knew everything that I knew today, I probably could have cut that time in half, if not longer, to be honest. So in this video, I want to share with you um, everything that I wish I knew before I got started to try and get in shape because I made a lot of mistakes. So I've written down six things here that I wish I knew. I wish someone told me before I got started on this. And as always, the last one is the most important because that's the one that people seem to forget the most. Okay, let's dive into it. Number one, it will take longer than you think. Okay, building muscle is a marathon, not a sprint. And it's going to take a while. Okay, be patient. Um, you will feel discouraged. You will feel uh, like quitting. I actually quit many times before I actually got to where I am now. Okay. Uh, you will get disheartened. You will wonder whether you ever can build the physique that you want. Um, and it's going to require more effort than you think it's going to take. Okay. And that's okay. It's good that it's difficult and it's good that it's going to take a long time because that's what gives it value. If it was easy, everyone would be in sick shape and it just wouldn't be a valuable thing. But the fact that it's hard to do is what gives it tremendous value. And that should be motivating because most people quit. But you can tell yourself, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to stay the course. I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to follow the next recommendations that I've got for you here. And over time, you play the long game, you will get there. It's impossible that if you do the right actions for a long enough time period, you don't get the de desired result that you want. Okay, that's number one. Number two, if you knew what to do, you would already be jacked. Okay, if you were already doing all the right actions right now, you would already have the physique that you want. So if you don't have the physique that you want right now, chances are there's some things that you're doing are holding you back or, you know, actually, you know, causing you to go in the opposite direction to what you want. Okay, there was a lot of things that I did that I thought were helping me and taking me closer to my goal, but they were actually taking me further away from my goal. Okay, so what can you do? Well, you need to, uh, the best thing to do is to hire a coach. Okay. When I hired a coach, I got in, I made more progress than I'd ever made. Okay. But for some of you, and I'm not, I'm not just saying that because I do coaching, I do do coaching, but, uh, you don't have to do coaching. It's not essential by any means. If you're not in a position to be able to hire a coach, you just need to self study. Okay. And don't think, you know, everything like, for example, for myself, when I first started training and I had someone give me advice on how to uh, how to train, I thought, okay, cool. I know how to train now. Uh, I don't need to worry about, I don't need to think about that anymore. But that's not true. I didn't know how to train. I just knew a tiny little bit. And instead, I was closed off to any new information or learning anything. Like now, I have the mindset that there's still things I don't know. There's still things that I learn on a daily or weekly basis about just little small adjustments, little things you can do. Uh, and you just never stop learning, okay? So you're never gonna know everything and just don't stop learning. Don't stop trying to figure out, uh, you know, better ways to be doing the things that you're currently doing. Because if you, if you, like I said before, if you put in the right actions, you get the right results. But the actions that you're doing right now, there might actually be a better way to do them, which is gonna help you get to your goal in a shorter amount of time with less effort. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is you will have to keep eating more over time and eventually this will get difficult. Now, for example, for myself, I'm a big eater, okay? I don't really struggle with eating a lot, okay? Uh, I, I can eat a tremendous amount of food in one sitting, okay? And even still, for me, when I was uh, trying to gain uh, weight, which I'm not trying to do anymore, but as I was coming up, okay, over time, as your weight goes up, you need to consume more calories because you start burning more calories. And then eventually you need to put the calories up again and again and again and again. And eventually it gets to the point where eating becomes a bottleneck, okay? And you don't want to do this to the point where you're getting fat. I'm going to talk about this in, a, in one of the next points. But chances are you're going to have to eat more than you think you're going to eat. And that's going to change over time. You can't just decide, okay, I'm going to eat this amount of food now and you're going to be good because in two months time, that won't be enough food. Okay. So be prepared to eat more than you're eating right now and to be continually increasing those calories. 
if consuming the calories gets too difficult, what you can actually do is bring the protein down. So you can do, uh, I usually say one gram per pound of body weight, but if you're struggling to get the calories in, you can bring it down to like 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. And then you can add in more carbs because it's so much easier to overeat carbs than it is to overeat protein. And it also works the other way. If you're in a cup uh, and you're struggling to be satiated and full, you can actually put your protein up and bring your carbs lower. So that's a little hack for you there as well. Okay, uh, next point, which is point number four. Some body parts will grow faster than others. So stop training everything equally. For the first few years, uh, even first maybe four years, I trained everything equally. Every single body part, I trained equally every single week. Okay. And what that meant is uh, just the way we train uh, and um, naturally our genetics, we have some muscle groups which are going to grow faster than others. So, for example, I barely train my shoulders now. I, I don't, I haven't trained traps for years. Okay. I just, they're naturally quite big, but chest, I've trained chest twice a week sit for like for the past three or four years you know my calves you can't really see my calves let's see if i can show you my calves there's nothing there <laughs> there's literally nothing there okay so um some body parts you're gonna have to be prepared to train more than others okay uh so you can follow a structured plan that you get online, but eventually is you're going to get to a certain point where you need to start customizing that based on what your aesthetic goals are. And if you just, you know, if you're not bothered about aesthetics and you just want to get as big as possible, no worries, no problem. But if you want to build a well-balanced physique, you're going to have to start prioritizing some muscles or some exercises over others and start prioritizing growing some muscle groups over other ones. Okay, uh, next one, number five, is you don't need to bulk, but you will lose some condition as you gain muscle, okay? So what happens is, is if you do the traditional bulk or the dirty bulk, I used to think, oh, well, I want to gain weight, so if I eat more calories, then that's good. But all that happens is your body can only accrue new muscle tissue at a certain rate. And you can speed this up by obviously taking uh, PEDs and maybe some supplements like creatine, I don't know. But uh, you can speed this up somewhat by getting adequate rest and, and doing all the right things. But there's going to be a certain point where that just, you, you can't accrue muscle tissue any faster. So once you're already at that point and you eat more calories, all you're doing is accumulating body fat. So then... When you want to go into your cutting phase, you just have more work to do. You have more fat to lose. And uh, you're going to get to the point where you're unhappy with your physique. Because what happens to a lot of people, when they're in a gaining phase, okay, you start to lose your abs, okay? And then you start to look a little bit soft. And you can still gain more muscle tissue. But the fact that you look soft now puts you off wanting to carry on the gaining phase. So if we can gain muscle by gaining as little fat as possible or almost no fat, that's the best ideal because your head's not going to go and you're not going to uh, just start hating your physique because you're looking all soft and fat, okay? So you don't need to bulk 300 to 500 calories above maintenance. If the weight is going up, do not put the calories up. Okay, if the weight is still going up, do not put the calories up. Only put your calories up when the weight has stopped. When the weight has plateaued, then put your calories up. Okay, and the last one. This one is the most important, guys. Don't major in the minors. Master the basics, okay? Because everyone gets so caught up in uh, minor things which make 0.1% of the difference. For example, what supplements should I be taking? Uh, what training split should I be doing? Uh, what's the best exercise for biceps? What's the best exercise for chest? Look, guys, most supplements don't make a difference. I'm going to make a future video, like two, one or two videos time talking about supplements, which ones are worth it. Hint, most of them are not worth it, okay? Don't even worry about supplements. 
PDs, that's a different story. Uh, maybe I'll make a future video on that. Uh, training splits, honestly, it really doesn't matter too much as long as you do focus on the fundamentals. Uh, it, it is like something to consider, but it's not something you really over need to think. What you could actually do is put them all in a hat and just pick from one of them. And if you stuck to it and you didn't skip leg day and you train properly, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, then you would still make progress. Okay, so don't, don't stress the training split that you're doing. And don't stress the best exercises. Do the exercises that feel good for you. After you've done the exercise, can you feel it? Can you feel it where you should feel it? Okay, does it feel good? If it does, chances are you're on the right track. Okay, so what are the basics? What are the things that we really need to master? Okay, we need to master the fundamentals. This is the Pareto principle, okay, which states 20% of your efforts will bring you 80% of your results. So what is the 20% that we really need to focus on? Well, the first one is training effectively to failure. Okay, we have to train effectively to failure or to almost to near failure to be able to stimulate the muscles to grow. Okay, once we've initiated that stimulus, the next thing is we need protein and calories. Notice that I said protein and calories and not macros. Macros you could put in the minus because as long as your calories are right, as long as you've got enough protein, you're going to be good. Obviously, it helps if that food is from clean sources and stuff like that, but you can have a pretty bad diet and still build muscle. I'm not saying that's optimal. I'm not recommending that. I'm just saying that it is possible. I've seen it. Okay. And after you've got uh, your protein and your calories in, the next thing is just adequate sleep and rest. Okay. If you just focus on these three things, training effectively to failure, uh, having adequate protein and calories and getting enough rest and sleep and you did all these other points you didn't over bulk and you didn't train every single muscle group equally and you kept eating more over time and you hired a coach or you kept self-studying and you played the long game and you didn't quit and you trust the process trust me it is absolutely impossible that you do not build the physique that you want it might take a year it might take three years or if you're like me, it might take seven years. But trust me, from someone who has done it, if I had to go back and do it all over again and it would still take me seven years, I would absolutely do it. Guys, if you want any help with your training, your nutrition, anything like that at all, I do coaching. The links are down below. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go make some gains and I'll talk to you in the next one.